Hi there! Today we are going to our science museum and now we are in a park which is called um, National Exhibition Center if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, we are going to see very interesting things. For example, a bicycle with square wheels. I guess that's gonna be interesting. The park low-key looks like a Soviet architecture but this place hosts an amazing festival every year. So that says science in Ukrainian. If you thought that a bicycle can only have round wheels, you're wrong because it can have square wheels as you can see and I must say that that felt weird. I also tried using Morse code and it was more difficult than I expected. So what Morse code is, is that all the characters are encoded by dots and dashes. Quite a big part of this exhibition is dedicated to magnetic abilities of different objects and this is a ferromagnetic liquid. So how I did all of that is just used some magnets. I am not sure how it works to be honest, but this is addictive. This exhibit demonstrates how the magnetic poles of our planet work. As, as you can see, I just took some metal details, dropped them, and they got magnified. This thing here is basically your intuition test, because you are supposed to guess which objects are magnetic and which are not and sometimes it's extremely difficult to guess. After that, they will take you to the molecular level. And I've never seen a molecular myself, you know, because, well, that's impossible. But they show you how those moleculars work together, what they look like, and how they form different materials. There are also a couple of different microscopes around the place and you can see different materials like hair or alum closer. And that's my personal favorite because I really like anatomy and this thing can show you body on different levels after different injuries. And this one is a pure magic because as you can see the right part is lower than the left part but it keeps going back. I'm not sure if you can tell but I was terrified that I would fall but I didn't, that's witchcraft. And this exhibit combines our knowledge about gravity and thickness of different materials because you can see that they fall down with different speed which is influenced by their thickness and I can say that the last one, it's kind of satisfying. And the last exhibit for today is supposed to teach you about landscapes and that's especially good for kids but to me it was just a very nice way to remember my childhood and play with some sand again. That was it for today, I hope you liked it, see you next time!